Hello, Procrast Creators, and welcome back. So as promised, we are going to start going over some of those 15 ways that you can use your Cricut. Today, we will be making a t-shirt. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. But before we do, you know, I have to say, subscribe, hit the like button, and hit that bell so you can get a notification for when the next video comes out. So now that I've said all of that, let's truly get started. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is go into design space and click on new project. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, then you have options. You can just do text where you hit this um, icon here. I am going to hit image. I am going to put in the word create. You can put in any word and see what types of images come up. From here, I am going down to dream and create since you are all creators now. And um, this will be the image that will go on the shirt. You size it to whatever dimension that you want. Um, I am going to size this to an eight, eight by seven. So I can size it in a couple of different ways. As you saw, I just pulled down on this arrow. I can also hit this unlock button here if I want it to be able to crunch it together or spread it more apart. So this allows me to do that. Um, you can also do the same thing if you know the exact dimensions by coming up here to the size portion of design space and um, clicking in the inside of there and then you can put in exactly what you want it to be um, in order to do that this little icon of unlock which we already did down here has to be unlocked so that you can do that um, a few other things that you can take note of you can rotate this by this arrow here um, and then, like I said, you can just use these arrows to make it bigger or smaller. So um, those are just things to note. All right. So once you have it the way that you want, if you want it to change the color of something, this is actually two images because that and is a different color. You could um, just click on this color little circle here beside the image that you want and then it brings up this menu where you can then change the color now that only changes the color in here of course you control the color with what vinyl you put on your mat so you could change that um, and once you have everything the way that you want for this type of image in it blah for this type of image the next thing that you're going to do is just hit make it um, if you wanted to add something else to this, you could always do that as well. Um, but today we're just going to hit make it. So here you can see it gave us two mats, one and two. Um, one thing that you need to know that, um, know about is, um, iron on will, if you print it, if you cut it like this, it is going to be backwards for your shirt. So you have to mirror the image when you are doing an iron on that includes words. So what, if, what you just saw me do was mirror both of them at the same time because I have tried to do it one at a time and then I forget. So just go ahead and mirror all of your images at one time and that um, takes that risk of forgetting out of there and wasting vinyl. Um, you can click on the image before you hit this continue button and then you can do a few more options. You have these three little dots here where you can move it to another mat. Like if I wanted all of these on one mat, I could click on that option or I can hide it. If I had more than one thing and I needed to recut something and I only wanted one of the images, I could hide the other. Um, you can also turn this because Design space doesn't always, in my opinion, put um, things on a mat when you have multiple things on a mat where it saves you vinyl. So you can move things around 
um, take it out of the corner if you want it. If you have vinyl placed on this side of your mat or in the middle of your mat, you could do, you can move it around to where you need it to move it around. Once you have it where you want, the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to hit the continue button. Once you hit the continue button, it is going to look for the maker. So once it finds your machine, the next thing that it wants you to do is set the material. We are using iron on vinyl here, but what you could do if you had, if you were using glitter vinyl, um, let's say you would just click on this browse all materials right here is all categories. If you click on that down arrow, you can see all of the different categories that you can choose from. You can click on iron on and then you can click whichever vinyl that you're going to use. In the case of this um, design, we're just going to use regular iron on vinyl. So after I click what I want, I hit done. Um, and then what happens is my machine has an arrow that is now flashing. So here I want you to see that there is a shiny side and there's a matted side to your vinyl. You want to put the matted side up and then once you put it up, you put it under the guides, you hit your um, arrows to get it to pull it through and then you hit the Cricut button so that it can start the cut. Once the cut is finished, the arrows blink again and then you're able to remove it um, and as you can see I am removing the mat from the vinyl and not now that that first mat is cut um, we go to the second mat and you can tell you're on the second mat because you have a lighter shading here this darker one is already done and it has a check mark right here in the corner so we're on the second mat if we needed to change the material which we do we can click on the word iron on go back to the browse all materials, go back down the iron on, and then we can pick the glitter iron on, which is what I'm using. So um, here for glitter iron on, I always like to use more pressure because it doesn't cut to me as well with just regular default pressure. So again, I have a blinking arrow um, and I will show you that on the other portion of the video. Basically the same process, put your vinyl up with the matted side up, put it in the guides, follow the lights on your machine, and then you're able to move on to the next process. So I quickly wanted to show you that when it's cutting, it gives you an update on the screen where you can see that it's cutting. The first one is detecting a tool. Then it says that it's cutting, which it's doing right now. It tells you what percentage is on, which is um, very much needed in a um, wood cutting situation just because wood can take a while to cut. Um, so here we're unloading the mat. As you can see, it gives you this little warning here as well. Please unload the mat or I guess instructions more. Unload the mat and then you can dismiss that. And I'm going to go ahead and unload the mat. So after you have done that with this particular product project, you're finished. So you can hit finished here and then it's just a matter of weeding and applying it to the shirt, which we will do next. So here I am weeding the letters and I apologize, I forgot to move my camera so you can't see it very well, but you're just gonna slowly take off all the pieces from the transfer tape that you do not want. So um, I am finished that process here. Um, here I am getting the easy press ready. Um, I am uh, adjusting the temperature to 305 and I am adjusting the time to 20 seconds. So once those two things are done, I put the heat press or easy press over to the side and I prepare the shirt. So um, as you can see, I'm ironing the shirt here. 
um, before I put my first um, piece of vinyl down and then I'm going to place the vinyl where I want it I'm measuring you know so that's even and it's not crooked and like I said I didn't move the camera so you can't see all of it um, but like I said I'm just measuring those um, the design just so I can have it in the middle and then I'm going to set that easy press down on it um, for those 20 seconds and one thing you should note this is an easy press so you need to press down on your press so that it helps the vinyl adhere to the shirt better than it would if you just let it um, sit there without any type of pressure so I put a my pointed around that just so you can see it shows me with that pressure. I can also see where it hit in my design in case I've missed any pieces. So now I'm just cooling it off a little bit and then I'm able to pull that transfer tape off of my design and then I place the word and which you can't see um, right under the word dream and then I put that transfer tape back because I don't want um, to melt what I've already put down there. So as you can see, I'm putting it back on there and then I will put the press back on the design so that I can hit um, so that I can get that and on there. And as you can see, it turned out pretty cute. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe and hit that bell. See you next time.